they don't give respect to God again. When you look at all the all the laws that Kayahu was trying to promulgate in that place, it's not working. And this one can even prolong to December. Hmm. I am a Christian, and I will die as a Christian. But I don't like it. It's not for me to buy a ticket and go to Jerusalem. I will use the money to fill the masses. Hmm. I will use. The, I will buy a cow, buy a bag of rice, and give to them. What do you gain from going to Jerusalem? It's just a. It's a when you, you got somebody going on holiday, excursion, and everywhere. For more prophecies and gospel news around the world, subscribe to 12 Star TV and turn on notifications. This is Urgent. Pastor Adeboye of Redeemed Christian Church of God need urgent prayer with his wife, according to the new revelation from the prophets. Yes, good day everyone. You are welcome back again to 12 Star TV. Thank you for watching us and please subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification and if you have subscribed thank you so much in this video prophet dr marcus tibetan speak concerning israel amas war and how israeli prime minister caused the war and during the wednesday service today prophet dr tibetan said god referred to him that the spirit of death is around Pastor Adeboya and his wife that he saw casket in front of both of them. Please, if you love Pastor Adeboya of Redeem Christian Church of God, pray for him. And Chester TV, we pray that Pastor Adeboya should live long. Watch this powerful video and watch what Prophet Tibetan said in this video. Thank you for watching us. When you look at the book of Acts of the Apostles, 19. 15 to 20. And when you look at the book of Ezekiel, Ezekiel 36, Ezekiel 37, Ezekiel 38, all you want to know about Israel is there. They will not be able to defeat the, 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 the Israelites. You know what I'm saying? Yes. It's going to be very tough. But I must not tell you lie. This information that leak and the drum that, and how they march into Jerusalem. And destroy the soldiers, the old, the young, the students, is showing us that nothing is too permanent. And nothing, nobody God cannot use. But that makes me to know peace is important. In any family, in any nation, in any neighborhood, we need to live in peace. If you see the high rate, what they kill among the, Egypt, the Israelites is up to 3,000. They always still pretending they want they don't want the press to take notes. It was the handiwork of all the Arab nations. And when you look at the population today, the Muslims are more than the Christians. All the Christians in Turkey were wiped up. Yeah. Later the Lord fought for them. There was an earthquake where they drove the people away. And the only thing we can show, all what they said in Julius, in Julius Caesar about Syria, all has been destroyed. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So automatically, Israelites have to go back to the drawing board. And they need to remove all the Amman's people around the place. Mm. If those people are not really removed, all their formation needs to be crushed. It will still repeat itself. And this one can even prolong to December. Mm. And all the Tehran, Arab nation, Russia, these are the people. You know, if, if, uh, Russia went in there, they cannot win. Yeah. America were working there. They cannot win. But we should remember the three days of war. How the whole Arab nation got young against Israel. Yes. But they won. Yes. So automatically, in the Bible, he said, No war. Yeah. And God never play with his word. But we need to proceed, take precaution. Because we teach what? All the problem, problem that came in there, they don't give respect to God again. Mm. When you look at all the all the laws that Kayahu was trying to promulgate in that place, it's not working. It should allow peace to reign. And they said anybody that you preach in the open nakedly, that was the month of June, May, June, July, that the person will be caught, caught, caught mm. And those people come there, they have faith in God. 
But now the mosaic and all the old people, all the ones they believe there, they should come to the round table. They should come what? To the round table. Because what they, what they face in Germany, not to happen again. But the, the Lord is still going to reveal the very person who sponsor these people. Yeah. Those that sponsor them are part of them are from America. You know what I'm saying? And then you must watch before the end of uh, November. The root cause of the trouble will be what? They will get to the root cause of the matter. So we, we all support Israel. We all stood by Israel. We all pray for Israel. Likewise, we pray for the Palestine. Because when you look at the book of Genesis 15 and 16, we are from the same father. We are all from the same father. The supremacy, I don't know where they want to use, what they want to use it for. There is Christian in Dubai. There is Christian in Tehran. There is Christian everywhere. Even in Turkey, how they, how they wipe out the Christian, it was too barbaric. So, and we are going to one father after we drop dead. I said the second Samuel 14, 14, Ezekiel 14, 14, then Psalm, 14, Psalm 49. He said everything. And when you look at what the Lord did to, to Joshua, there is hope for Israel. When you look at Joshua 1, Joshua 5, and Joshua 6, Joshua 10, then there is still hope for the Israel, Israelites. And when you look at the book of 4 Samuel 4, 5, and 6, how the Ark of the Covenant, the covenant was returned back after they collected from moving out the earth. The miracle is still there till tomorrow. I believe in the word of God. Mm. I am a Christian. And I will die as a Christian. But I don't like it. It's for me to buy tickets and go to Jerusalem. I will use the money to fill the masses. Mm. I, will use the, I will buy a cow, buy a bag of rice, and give to them. What do you gain from going to Jerusalem? It's just a... It's a when you, you have somebody going on holiday, excursion, and everywhere. So there is nothing special in Jerusalem. For any Christian from Nigeria, any Christian from Ghana, any Christian from Ethiopia, any Christian from Senegal, nothing too special, nothing too, nothing too spectacular about Israel. They let, let Israel be what they want to be. For you to put yourself in a plane and go out, no. Even in Mecca, that was the headquarters of the church, I don't go. I don't have any business there. I have a business here in the parish. So that's it, sir. I didn't hate them. It's just a thing I don't like. I don't want to go.